What's going on everyone? This is Family Jewel 7 x and today I'm going to be teaching you how to play my arrangement of the Dark World theme for my Legend of Zelda Link to the Past guitar medley. Welcome to the ninth video in my 10 video tutorial series on songs that you guys voted for for me to give you a video tutorial and give you backing tracks and tabs and everything that you need to learn my arrangement of these songs. That being said, please check the description for uh, a zip file of the backing track, the tab, and everything you need to get started. Um, so this song uh, I did in my Link to the Past guitar medley, um, I had a lot of fun with the arrangement. So um, again, you know, you know, a lot of this stuff is just optional, it's stuff that I added to it. Um, I'm going to show you guys the leads first so that you guys can get that out of the way, and then I'll show you some of the stuff that I changed to make it my own if you want to play my arrangement of it. So just note that a lot there are a lot of things that I changed up just to change it up, simply because you know a lot of people have covered this song, I wanted to kind of give it my own flair. Um, so just note that, you know, the way I play it isn't the right way, uh, but, you know, I guess technically it's not the wrong way either because it's my own arrangement. Um, but yeah, so we'll get right into it, we'll start with the leads. I'm going to... Uh, um, we're gonna tune up first. We're, all the electric guitars are in drop C, my usual. Um, the uh, bass is in a B standard that's standard with the B on top for a five string bass. And that's all we're using. So here's drop C. Alright. Now there isn't a whole lot going on in the leads that is completely out of the ordinary, nothing too too difficult. Um, I'm going to show you pretty much all of them. There's one part that I'm not going to show you uh, up close. It's There's this one little uh, harmony at the end of the bridge that's just... And that's pretty straightforward, so I'm not going to really show you that. Um, but you'll see it in the tab, so don't worry about it. And if you have any questions, definitely uh, leave me a comment and I'll try to get back to you. Um, but okay, so pretty much this is all, this is all that the leads really are. Yeah. 
whole lot going on in the rhythm guitar that's too crazy. Uh, one thing that I just do want to note is um, something that I do. Uh, it's mostly uh, aesthetic, pretty much, uh, I guess you can call it. Um, is that in drop C we have this G chord. Uh, it's Well, the, the phrase starts on G. Um, and we've got it kind of in this uh, normally A position shape where you got the open string. So what I do um, is uh, I pull off it to get back to the G. So instead of just doing a boring old... Yeah. I actually pull off the chord, so... I, know, I just thought it was kind of cool um, and it sounds fine with the arrangement so um, that's why I did it you'll see I'll do that in the um, in uh, the stuff that I show you um, I'm only gonna show you the intro the middle uh, the segue and the bridge so pretty much the whole song <laughs> um, and I'm gonna do the same for bass so uh, rhythm guitar intro middle bridge and then bass intro middle and uh, bridge and then we're done that's it And that's all there is to the Dark World theme from Legend of Zelda uh, Link to the Past. I mean, it's not too hard of a song, but it's super, super fun, super catchy. You're going to have a lot of fun playing it, I, I'm sure. And if you have any questions at all about learning any of the parts that I did show or didn't show or anything in the tabs of the backing track, please let me know in the comments or, the, uh, or send me a message and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, but other than that, good luck learning, have fun, and I'll see you again next week for the last tutorial of my 10 video tutorial series.